Hi, I'm Re from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and another grocery haul from my supermarket comparison series. Today's haul is from Tesco and I will be having a look at their service as well as what I've bought for the week and our meal plan. So make sure you stay tuned to the end for all of that kind of comparison stuff and our meal plan for our large family of six. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do lots of grocery haul and meal planning videos as well as speed cleans, vlogs. I've got lots of back to school content coming up. So make sure you're subscribed for all of that. Now let's take a look at what I've bought and then the meal plan. Let's start over here with fruit and veg and then frozen so I can get it all away. We've got some raspberries and I've got some shopping here for my mother-in-law who we are bubbled with. So she's coming later to pick that up. So those raspberries are for her and those are for us. And then we've got strawberries for us as well, just to chop up and pop on the table after a meal as a little dessert. Grapes are also for my mother-in-law and I've also got mushrooms this week. I don't normally buy mushrooms. It's only myself and Zara that like them. But I am going to do a dish for myself to go alongside something we're eating this week. Basically the only I eat. And I will top up and eat it at lunch. So I'll explain that when we get to the meal plan. We've got some pink lady apples. Um, I had a substitution thing saying they didn't have the ones I ordered. And they sent these instead. But quite frankly, they're still Tesco pink lady apples. So that's absolutely fine. We've got some stir fry, that is for me, and also some more stir fry over here. And I'm thinking that I'm fancying stir fry for my lunches. I might also pop stir fry alongside one meal this week. And we've got some baby spinach, which I use as a salad. I do sometimes pop it in things. I could put some into um, the dish I'm doing actually with the uh, mushrooms but mostly I use this as a leaf base for salads because it's got more to it hasn't it than just using lettuce more nutrients I think it has iron in it got some onions they're going in a few things I've got two different types of peppers um, I've got the sweet peppers and some normal peppers as well so again, um, I've got quite a high veggie based dish is this thing that I'm going to be making for my lunch, which I shall explain. Courgettes are also for my dish that I'm creating. Um, baby new potatoes are to go with uh, one of our meals. Stay tuned to see what that is. I've got some jacket potatoes. Turns out these finest jacket potatoes were working out cheaper per 100 grams. because That's how I like to compare prices looking at you know price per 100 grams or price per unit or whatever as opposed to just the price uh, anyway they were cheaper than the bog standard ones which is why we've got those we've got bananas for the kiddies um, I do find if I chop the ends off and just give the children the bananas like that they'll peel them themselves and there's no sort of complaining about the icky bit at the end or anything so as you know I'm not fussed on bananas not fussed on the texture or anything so just I find that's the less grim way for me to, me to deal with them too. We've got some smoothies, which the children have on the weekends with breakfast. Half of them like one of the flavors, half of them like the other, which is quite convenient actually. Um, so those two boxes will do the Saturday and Sunday morning. And then we've got cucumber, which goes into the uh, salad, which we sort of, we put alongside the meals. They didn't have carrot batons. I really wanted carrot batons, they didn't have those and cherry tomatoes, although I must admit, I think I just forgot to put those in my basket. I don't think that is Tesco's fault. We've got sweet potatoes. Now, some of us like sweet potatoes, some of us like normal potatoes. So on the night that we are having jacket potatoes, then sweet potatoes are a good alternative for that. On to dairy. We've got Muller Corner for my teenager and husband. And then the fromage fray. These work out at a pretty good price, actually. Um, for the littlies. So my three littlies will eat those and my big boy will eat those. We've got some mature cheddar for grating into various meals. This yogurt, which is for my mother-in-law, she's asked for that. I haven't bought that before because it's not something we eat. And then we've got two lots of four pints of full fat milk. Then the sandwiches, we've got lots of ham. My husband is taking sandwiches to work at the moment. Uh, he's used to sort of buy food out a lot, but obviously 
COVID and things, trying to minimize the amount of places he's going. He's going to work already, so he's taking a packed lunch. Fish cakes, one of the meals we're having this week, along with new potatoes and some peas. And I quite like those with sweet chili sauce. Um, there are six of us, but my husband and my teenager will eat more than one of them, but the girls don't eat them. So they will have fish fingers, which I've already got in the freezer. We've got pork cocktail sausages, or just cocktails, as the girls like to call them. And they are for just going along with like picnic -y lunches, although the weather is so grim at the moment, it's looking like we'll be picnicking indoors. Then over to Frozen, we've got some diced onion, because I had run out of that, and that's really good to have in stock for out of other onions, or if I'm just in so much of a rush, I haven't got time to chop them all up. We've got some frozen chicken breast fillets, and I just, you can cook these from frozen if you're doing them whole. And if I'm doing a roast, I do just bung them in the oven from frozen. But what I tend to do is I've got a little alarm that goes off at about five o'clock every night. And it just reminds me to check our meal plan, which I will go over in a second. Just reminds me to check our meal plan and see if I have to pull everything out of the freezer to be defrosted for the following night. And the number of times I used to forget to do this before I set an alarm, it was a nightmare. But setting the alarm has been a game changer actually. So when that alarm goes off, I just think, right, do I need to pull anything out of the freezer? Pull it out, chuck it in the bottom of the fridge, and then it's done. Two second job. And then we've got some bits for an easy peasy roast on Sunday. I've got some Aunt Bessie's parsnips, some stuffing balls, some Tesco goose fat potatoes, because they're very, very nice, and peas, which actually go along with a number of meals. And then we've got some of my favorite chips because they just cook quickly and they crisp up nicely and they do well every time. Chilled and frozen is now away, so let's move on to dry. Got two bottles of orange squash, no added sugar for our fridge jugs. That's always nice and cold, ready for meals. We've got two tins of mushy peas. These were cheaper than the Tesco's own ones, even though they are kind of a Tesco brand, the exclusively at Tesco, this grower's harvest, but they were a better price. Um, I've got a massive bag of pasta. We'll go through that in no time, but I do like to try and buy big bags when I can because it works out a lot cheaper. I've got some of this sunflower oil spray. Now, if you saw a few hauls back, I had one of these and it was empty. So I bought something. I thought, I'll just refill it. This top does not come off easily. So I've just not been using it as a spray. I've just been using it from the bottle. So clearly they design it so you can't easily refill them perhaps i could get a different bottle that isn't this one and refill from another one but i don't know it's so messy for now i've just bought one of those i've got wraps which we will use for lunches and i just like to have in stock because we do use those as pizza bases and for if we're doing fajitas or enchiladas i've got some rice uh, which i always buy the basmati rice I don't know, is it nicer or is this just some sort of habit I've formed? What is the difference even? But we do like that. I use that in my rice cooker. This thing is seriously the easiest way to do rice. I'm not sure if this is exactly how you're supposed to use it, but this is what I do. I think there are instructions when you come with it, but I literally just put the rice in the bottom, cover it with boiling water. I think the instruction said to use normal water, but cover it with boiling water. Then I bung that in the microwave for 12 minutes and the rice comes out beautifully fluffy every time so if you're looking for a super easy way to do rice it's really good especially if you know you've got your children running around and you don't want to keep an eye on something on the hob you can just shove it in the microwave set it and forget it so i'll link that below if you fancy grabbing one then bread wise we've got a lot of bake at home bread this week I've got these little rolls i've actually got two sets of these but we do go through quite a lot of them so if i'm doing lunches my teenager she's actually got teenagers guys eats a lot he's like six foot one like a rake but i don't know where he puts it all so the little ones will have like one of these each and he'll have the rest of them so i've got lots of those i've also got these bigger baguettes which i'm baking the night before and then my husband is having one of those as like a ham baguette to take to work we've got crumpets for my husband and children the children asked for some of these scotch pancakes as a little kind of treat, so I've grabbed some of those. And I've also got some of these for the weekend, these pan chocolat. They have those, they obviously supposed to put them in the oven, 
but the children actually quite like them just like that to just munch on and so they kind of like a breakfasty treat along with the smoothies for the weekend over to household and toiletries got some bicarbonate of soda i use this for a few cleaning jobs but especially for making up my homemade fabric refresher which i will link the recipe for below it's really not like much of a recipe it's the easiest thing in the world but i'll link how i do that below in a little blog post I've got Lenore. This is actually for my mother-in-law. I used to use this until I discovered the method stuff, which I've got loads of at the moment because I buy it in bulk when it's on offer and then I don't need to buy it for a while. But anyway, that's for her, so that's why I bought that. Just opened my backup child's farm conditioner, which is, this is the one that I use on the children. The little ones especially have got quite a sort of sensitive skin. I mean, I have as well. It's more just really, really, really dry skin. So I just figure using this helps and it smells divine. Mm -hmm got the dry shampoo which i use for me a few people have said why don't i buy the brown dry shampoo because obviously i've got really dark brown hair the reason i use this kind is i try not to use it in the morning what i try and do is i put it in my hair before i go to bed so i go to bed looking a little bit like a ghost sometimes but then it kind of works its way through in the night and then i wake up with cleanish looking hair and then i just sort of run the straighteners over it and we're done We've got bleach. I literally only use this down the toilet. I don't think I use that anywhere else in the house at all, but um, it is good for kind of killing off germs and things in the loo. We've got dishwasher tablets. I did want to buy these last week in my Iceland haul, but Iceland, although I did find them very good on price, they didn't have any kind of budget dishwasher tablets. And it's an area where I'm not fussed on splurging on dishwasher tablets. And then we've got toilet roll. Now, a few of you have asked, why haven't I bought toilet roll for so long? I have been buying toilet roll, but I've been buying it on Amazon um, with Amazon Prime and we needed toilet roll. So I went to go and buy Amazon Prime again. Uh, I went to put the order in yesterday, but it wouldn't have come till tomorrow or the day after and we're running quite low. So I bought it today from Tesco's, but um, I'll link the one I've been buying from Amazon. It's just, it's a lot more than this. You have to store it. But with six of us who... Uh, our home a lot more obviously my husband's gone back to work now but everyone being home more we're going through so much toilet roll because they're all here all the time well most of them are here all the time so uh, that's why i've bought that from a supermarket today just because i haven't been very on the ball with ordering from amazon but i have been buying it in bulk online which is why it's not been any of my hauls recently on to don't judge me do not forget to let me know in the comments what's in your don't judge me section this week we got three bottles of lockdown juice. I know we're not officially fully locked down now, but I think that's just what that's called now. Uh, we've had all of these before. This one's slightly more expensive than this one, but they're all perfectly nice. Pop it on to go with our curry night. So yummy, yummy. These are amazing. I should have bought a couple of bags of these actually. You guys know that I've recently become obsessed with cashew nuts, which are kind of like a softer, yummier peanut. But these with the sea salt and black pepper are just, oh wow, so good. They don't judge me because they're super calorific, but nuts are good for you-ish, right? Other than the calories and the salt, but you know. Um, we've got some fries chocolate cream. This is the only flavor of these bars that Tesco online were offering me. So I bought them because I do like them. I know you guys have been tagging me all over the place when you see these out and about because you know I love them in all the different flavors. I think the strawberry or the raspberry might be my favorite. They're divine. So I will order some more of those from Amazon. I haven't ventured to like a b and type place yet, mainly because I've got the children all with me. And I think if I was on my own, I probably would have like nipped out to do that kind of shop. But you know shopping with four children isn't fun at the best of the times especially when you've got to sort of persuade them not to touch anything and things so i will be doing a lot more actual come shop with me's come september i think when they're back in school and i can kind of nip places on my own but until then i'm kind of relying on online as much as possible so we've got turkish delight which are also fries actually my husband and teenager love those we've got mars bars uh, my husband takes these to work in his lunchbox. He is still convinced of the old slogan from the 80s or 90s that a Marsden day does in fact help you work, rest and play. Um, not sure if that's actually true, but he's convinced. We've got some Viennese fingers, which are so yummy. So they'll be like a little after dinner treat one night. Jaffa cakes, because you know my lot love a Jaffa cake. And I don't think they get terribly offended whether they are standard Jaffa cakes, branded Jaffa cakes, I don't know. I think they're all pretty convinced they're all pretty similar. 
um, but I, so I just buy whichever one kind of works out cheaper per 100 grams. These are snackers, they're for my husband. They're kind of like Ritz crackers, but they were cheaper. We've got mini cheddars, which my children like as a little snack, um, or sometimes with their lunches. And then we've got a massive bag of crisps, which are for my husband's lunchbox. Sometimes the children have them with their lunch too, but it's my husband really that's a massive crisp head. He loves those. So what's in your don't judge me section this week? Let me know. Just before we head over to the meal plan, let's have a look at the total spend, which is on screen now, and my thoughts on Tesco. Now Tesco did have, at the beginning of the whole COVID thing, a maximum item limit that you could have when you were shopping. And I didn't come across that personally when I was shopping for this shop, but I don't know if that's just because I didn't actually attempt to add that much to my basket or not. I'm not sure, I will check. Delivery slot availability is getting a lot better with Tesco. I have got a delivery pass, which I've paid for annually. So I can book slots now for several weeks ahead. They're not brilliant still if you want to book something for tomorrow or the day after, whereas last week when we looked at Iceland, they had, at least in my area, I'm sure it's different in every area, they had slots available from sort of tomorrow and all the rest of the week. So Tesco are getting better, but I must say I find that even pre-COVID, it kind of fluctuated a lot. Some days, even pre-COVID, I would be able to get a slot for later that day. Literally, I could book one in the morning and have it on later that night. And other times I couldn't get one for a couple of weeks. And I think it depended, they were kind of playing around a lot with the number of vans they had on the road and where they were dispatching from, because we've got a few different Tesco's in the area that they could dispatch from. So I don't know, let me know if you are shopping and you've tried shopping from Tesco's, what's the slot availability like in your area? Price wise, they have the Aldi price comparison thing. So when you're shopping online, you can see that things are price matched with Aldi, which is quite nice to see. They have a lot of their kind of own brand alternatives, which do work out a lot cheaper and they've got a big variety of products. That to choose from you know they, they're probably one of the most extensive ranges to choose from when you're shopping online but still they don't have the same kind of level of products that you would see in store so for example those fries chocolate bars I really love they've only got one flavor that I could have chosen from when I was shopping online when you place your order with Tesco they do send you out an email that confirms what you have ordered but then you don't have an email like some of them do saying what they are actually sending you they just bring you a piece of paper and you can go through that now i do like with tesco that they've got the club card i know a couple of the others maybe do points things that i don't really get involved with i know sainsbury's have got nectar that i don't really use that maybe i should if i'm certainly well if i'm gonna sort of shop with sainsbury's more often but the Tesco club card points, um, I've actually got a credit card, a Tesco credit card that I only use for shopping in Tesco and then I pay it straight off just because it gets me more club card points. I know previous years we've had like several million annual passes just paid for out of club card points. Obviously I do spend quite a lot with Tesco's because I've got a large family and they did used to be the only ones I did any grocery shopping with because I had the delivery pass. Will that change? Now I've tried lots of different services. You're gonna have to wait and watch the comparison video to find out. If you want to see the full comparison and what I thought of all the different grocery delivery services, look out for that video that'll be coming very, very soon. We'll go through all the different things, price and service and everything like that, and we will compare and decide which one is best. Now let's take a look at our meal plan for the week. Over to my organisation station, I will link below how I put all this together. This is where I put my shopping list, I write with these whiteboard pens. Obviously I have wiped that off just because I've done a shop. Um, and then this is the bit we're going to look at now, our meal plan for the week. Tonight is Monday and we are having sweet and sour chicken. I've already got the chicken out to defrost, but I've bought frozen chicken to replace that in the freezer. I bought rice today, already had noodles, already had stuff to do the sauce, already have prawn crackers, and I bought the stuff for the stir fry to go with that. Tomorrow night we're gonna have jacket potatoes. So some will be with normal jacket potatoes and some will be sweet potatoes. Everybody will have some grated cheese. Most of my family will just have that with baked beans, which I've already got in stock. However, I will be having it with some veggie chili. So I've already got some beans in the cupboard, a can of like chili beans. And then I've got all the veggies, got courgettes, I've got mushrooms, I've got chopped tomatoes in the cupboard. 
I've got all the seasoning and stuff in the cupboard. And then all the different veggies, I can't remember which other ones, but the, all the ones I was showing you in the hall are going into my veggie chili. So I will eat that, I'll make a massive pot of that and I'll have that for dinner tomorrow night. But then I will sort of just defrost a little portion of that to have for my lunches because I find that really yummy. And I'm the only one that eats it, so it's the only way that's kind of worth making it. Then Wednesday night, we're gonna have fish cakes um, and some of the little ones will have fish fingers instead, which I've already got in stock. We've got sweet chili sauce to go with that, which I've already got in stock. The mushy peas and the new potatoes. Thursday is Nando's fake away night. <laughs> Someone called it a fake away in the comments last week and I thought that's brilliant. I'm totally stealing that. I already bought all the Nando's seasonings and sauces in my Iceland haul last week. So I've already got loads of that stuff to go with it. I've got the chicken, which I have bought today and um, i've got rice which i will have a go at doing some more sort of nandesi rice and i have got some chips as well which i will put in with that the nando's fake away did go down really well with my family last week and with the sauces and things it really does taste sort of as nice as it does in store so quite excited for that then friday night is curry night we've already got the stuff to do the sauces we've got some chips and rice to go with that and some chicken too and the poppadoms i bought i've already got mango chutney then saturday is pasta bake with my massive bag of pasta but i have already got the stuff for the sauces and then the grated cheese to go on top and then on sunday we are doing a roast dinner i will do that with lamb i will probably put a little bit of chicken in for the girls actually because i'm not sure they'll eat the lamb but I accidentally ended up with too much lamb from Iceland last week. So that's in the freezer and I will pull that out and we will have that as like a lamb slash chicken dinner on Sunday uh, with roast potatoes, roast parsnips and all the veggies, most of which I've, like, I've already got frozen carrots and runner beans and things. And they go just into my steamer on the hob and that is super easy. Also got gravy too. So what's on your meal plan for the week? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. If you wanna catch my latest video, it's just across here. And another video I think you may enjoy from my channel is just down here. See you guys soon.